This video will go over the basics of how arrays work, and I'll be using C Sharp as my language and showing my examples in Unity. So let's say you have chicken pot pie ingredients that you'd like to store in your program. Uh, let's say it's for like a recipe app or something. So what you could do is store each ingredient in its own string variable, but that can get a little out of control. Let's say if you have more than five ingredients, how would you manage them and access them? And it, even though you could potentially do this, it's not a great way to handle your data. So a better way to do this is to store it in something like an array. So if you have an array of the chicken pot pie ingredients, it would be stored in a single item, which would be an array, and then each an ingredient would be in an index of the array. And notice that the index numbers start counting at zero. So the first element is chicken, and the third element would be, for instance, potatoes, even though it would be at index two. So to set up an array, there's a couple of different ways you can do this, and both work fine. One would be to create and fill your array in separate steps. And so what you could do is create your array, and you do that by saying what type of array it is. You have your brackets, square brackets, to indicate it's an array. Ingredients would be the name of the array, and then you would say new string array with five elements. Then I would have to fill each individual element separately. And notice I have the name of the array, the index number, and then what I would like to put into it. Now another way you could do this is to create the array and fill it all in one step. And that looks like this. You would still say the type of the array you're creating with the square brackets, the name of the array, and then inside of curly brackets, you would just list each item you'd like to have in your array separated by a comma. Now, since this is a string array, I need to fill it with strings. Now, either of these end up with the same result. So it's really up to you which way you'd prefer to create and fill your array. So to access arrays data, and I have my ingredients array as an example up top, you can refer to the data by using the index. So if I write the name of the array with one, that's the index, it would be carrots because if it starts with zero, one, this would be zero, one would be carrots. And three would be broth, so this would be zero, one, two, three. To set data, you simply put the name of the array with the index you'd like to fill in the square brackets and then put the value on the right. Similar to a variable, it's just that you're indicating what index you'd like to fill it in. And once again, it has to be the, the same type as the array that it's storing. And to get data, you simply write the name of the array and then the index you'd like to retrieve. So for instance, this going to Unity's console, it would say the third ingredient is potatoes. And notice that's a two because it would go zero, one, two, that would be potatoes. So let's take a peek at this in Unity and see how this works in action. I already have my C Sharp script created. I called it arrays. Let's go look at that. I'm not going to be using update, so I'll erase that. So what I think I'm going to do is create my array in the class and not start. So let's do it all in one line. I'll say string with square braces, ingredients equals curly brace, chicken, carrots, potatoes, broth, crust. Okay, so let's see this access. In start, I could do um, debug.log. The third ingredient is, 
and I used my example here, I will ingredients and then the square brace what index I want. So the third ingredient would be zero, one, two. So I would put a two here. And so if I run this, it should write potatoes, correct? So let me save this. Let's look at Unity and try it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. And let's look at the console. So it says the third ingredient is potatoes. Okay, so let's look at setting the, the index. How about, I know that the it originally starts as being potatoes. How about I change it? How about I go ingredients to equals celery okay and then let's display it again but it'll say after the change the third ingredient is this so it'll print it first I'm going to set it to the new value and then I will print it again so let's see how that works go ahead and hit play so now it says the third ingredient is potatoes after the change the third ingredient is celery so another way you can access an array's data is to use a loop to list all elements and so in this example I have my ingredients array set up and instead of listing them each individually I can use this for loop to loop through each element so it starts out with i is starting at zero and i'm starting it at zero because the first element will be counting at zero and notice it's checking to see if i is less than ingredients dot length and so length will provide the length of the array so we don't have to hard code a number now it's going to say how many elements there are so ingredients dot length will be five However, since this starts at zero, this will be zero, one, two, three, four. We want to make sure that i is less than ingredients.length. And then this will add one to i. And inside my loop, I am going to then output ingredients, and I'm using i as the index. So let's try that out in Unity. So here I am. I have my ingredients array, and I can use my for loop here. And this loop will run as many times as there are ingredients. Notice I'm putting i as the index. So let's see this work. And if you notice now it outputs chicken, carrots, potatoes, broth, and crust. So I have one more example. Let's say I wanted to make a little program called the dinner decider and this would help me figure out what to eat for dinner if I can't make up my mind so with this I can set up an array and it would have my food items that I could choose from so I could have an array called food holding pizza burgers pasta tacos soup and sushi I can generate a random number from 0 to 5 using random dot range the way this works is zero is included in the range but then you say what the range limit is but it does not include this number so this would include numbers zero through five and I'm doing that because the first element in my array is zero one two three four and five would be my last element that'll be stored in a variable called dinner pick and then I can display the result simply by using dinner pick as my index in food. So let's see that work in Unity. So I've already set up my array. Here it is. It's a string array called food. And once again, it has pizza, burgers, pasta, tacos, soup, and sushi. So it has six elements, but it starts at zero, ends at five. So I need to set up my random number 
I'll call it dinner pick. And this will generate an integer from 0 to 5. And then I can display it. And I access that by typing the array name. And then I will use dinner pick as my index. So I'm going to save this and let's see it run. So now it says, tonight you should eat sushi. I'm going to hit stop. Let's try it again. Tonight you should eat soup. Now it's pasta. So it goes through, picks a random number, and then displays that item from the array. So those are just a few basic ways you can use arrays to create them and access the data. I used strings as my examples, but you can also make arrays with integers and floats and other data types.